All right, now here are some amazing non-AI features which we are going to get very, very soon on our Samsung Galaxy phones. First one is the lock screen widgets. We already had the lock screen widgets on One UI. Just by tapping on the clock, we could access some of these widgets. Now on One UI 6.1, we are going to get the smaller versions of the widgets, which look cool and they are informative as well. We have got options to select four tiny square shaped widgets, or we can set two larger rectangular widgets, or a combination of one large and two smaller widgets. Now these are some limited widgets we have, and I wish we could set more widgets, making use of the rest of the screen real estate as well. Next feature is the ability to increase the image resolution when you crop a screenshot. Now you see I've got a screenshot here. I'm going to tap on edit and crop this image and tap on save. Now while saving it's going to ask me whether I want to increase the image resolution. It says the image will look sharper but it will also take up more storage space. We can keep the current resolution or increase the resolution here. Now when I select increase resolution the cropped area will be saved in higher resolution and it looks much much better because if I save it as it is in the current resolution it will be blurry and uh, I cannot use that uh, cropped image anywhere whereas when I select higher resolution the cropped area is much more usable. This is a fantastic feature which is currently available on One UI 6.1 which will be coming to the predecessors very soon. The third feature is again on the lock screen. When we customize a clock on the lock screen we will be able to change the fonts using the default fonts which are available and we will also get the options from the Galaxy Store. All we need to do is just tap on this plus button. It will straight away take you to the Galaxy Store from where we can download the additional fonts to customize the clock. That is amazing. Next, we have got some additional clocks available on One UI 6.1. As you can see, there are about two to three additional clocks which were not on the One UI 6.0. The next feature is the ability to check the wallpaper preview for home and lock screen. When you go to the lock screen wallpaper customization page, at the bottom, you will see this button by tapping on which we can switch between the lock screen and the home screen and see how the wallpaper looks on them. It is quite seamless. By just tapping on this button, we can quickly see the wallpaper on both home and lock screen. The next feature is the always on display wallpaper. Now we not only have the option to set the always on display on the dark screen, but also the wallpaper can be set, which will be dimmed on the lock screen. This may consume a bit of battery, but if you are into something like this, you can turn this on in the settings once you receive the One UI 6.1. Next, the battery protection options. Samsung says keeping your battery at a full 100% charge for a long time can reduce its lifespan. Choose an option below to protect your battery and make it last longer. We get three different options, basic, adaptive and maximum. You can select the one you want depending on your usage. Basically, this will tweak the battery charging percentage, thereby increasing the lifespan of the battery on your phone. This is definitely a very important feature if you are using your phone for a long time and I hope this feature lands on One UI 6.1 on all the predecessors of the Galaxy S24 series. Next, under modes and routines, we are going to get a brand new option for the if condition that is the smart view. Now, you can select smart view and choose connected or disconnected and then set the then conditions to execute any of the actions. That is something new and we are going to take a look at this feature in detail very very soon so stay tuned. The next one is camera sharing feature. This will be available under connected devices on settings menu. We are going to get a brand new toggle for camera sharing. When you enable this, we will be able to use the phone's camera as a webcam for a nearby Galaxy tablet. Samsung says for camera sharing to work, both devices need to have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and camera sharing turned on. So you need to have a tablet and you need to have camera sharing feature on your tablet that's when you'll be able to use the phone's camera as a webcam on your tablet. The next feature is showing the weather information for the clock on the lock screen. Now when you tap on a clock customization menu you will see this all new toggle show weather information. Enabling this will show the current temperature right next to the clock. So if you are not setting any widget for the weather information, you can just enable this toggle to show the weather information right next to the clock. Next one is adapt to color tone. Now this feature will adjust the colors and white balance based on ambient lighting conditions to make colors appear more natural in different environments. This toggle or this option will be available under display settings on One UI 6.1. Next, when you go to the about phone section, you will be able to see the network company name, just a small information if you want it on the about phone section. The next one is a fix which we are going to get on One UI 6.1 which I've already discussed in one of my previous videos that is the missed call indicator in red color on the color palettes. On One UI we always had an issue we could not figure out the missed calls easily because the indicator of missed calls or the missed call icons get the color palettes whenever we apply the color palettes on the phone. When we scroll through the call log easily we will miss out on some of the missed calls and forget to call them back. Now that's an issue and now on One UI 6.1 that has been fixed. Now even after applying the color palettes 
If you go to the call log, you will be able to see the missed call indicators in red, which is fantastic. For me, at least this is very, very useful. The next one is a 100x zoom shortcut. Now this feature is available currently on the One UI 6.1 on AS24 series. And I'm not very sure whether this feature will come to the predecessors or not once we get the One UI 6.1, because this feature will be made available through a good lock module called Camera Assistant. This feature will add this 100x shortcut on the photo mode, which is currently available on the Galaxy S24. Ultra. Now I'm not sure whether this will be made available on the S23 Ultra and S22 Ultra because we have already got the update for camera assistant and we still don't see this option on these phones. That's something to note here. Now these are some amazing features which we can expect on One UI 6.1 for the predecessors of the Galaxy S24 Ultra and Samsung might omit some of these features so be wary of that. Now let me know what do you think about these features, do you like any of them, which one you think is going to be very useful for you, drop a comment and let me know. That's about it, thanks for watching, do subscribe to the channel, we are inching closer to 100k, without your support this is not possible so do share and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, do hit the like button if you find this video informational, thanks for watching, my name is Salyan signing off, cheers, bye bye.